Uh, good afternoon, dear panelists, dear colleagues. Uh, I'm going uh, to talk about vital preparations in prevention, cancer, and aging. And partly it will be similar to the presentation of the previous speaker with Ms. Pavel Vladimir Grigorievich. As is no fighter preparations are used as a medical preventive means from ancient times, and it can be said that until recently, these were one of the main preparations for uh, medical procedures and for prevention of different diseases. However, in the mid 20th century, in many countries, there was interest to using uh, uh, medicinal plants for prevention of oncological diseases and as geroprotectors. And uh, some uh, medicinal plants uh, contain the well-known anti-carcinogenic substances uh, such as polyphenols, chlorophyll, terpenoids, and others. In uh, Hellenic uh, uh, preparation of some medicinal plants in experiments, effective anticarcinogenic properties were confirmed, and in epidemiological studies, there was a low risk of oncological diseases. It is important that, and we have to take that into account, that many anticarcinogenic phytochemicals are non toxic substances meeting most of the requirements of ideal means for prevention of uh, cancer and uh, aging. What are these ideal uh, well, means, according to us? And they should be efficient, of course, otherwise it would not be no sense. They should be safe because they should be taken for a long period of time, as a rule for a long period of time. They uh, should not be... Uh, um, administered per enteral but per os and should be used in any other way and they should have additional uh, uh, good qualities. They have good qualities and they help uh, to prevent cancer but it would be good if they improve the work of the immune system, uh, digestion and so on. That's what I mean as to additional uh, good qualities. A medicinal plants and anti-carcinogenic action experiment, if we analyze it, we'll see well known uh, from publications means primarily uh, green tea, uh, ginseng, curcuma, and probably we should take into account curcuma because the, uh, the adherence of healthy food think uh, that it is a drug against all the diseases and uh, curcuma is a universal uh, food additive. It is used practically across the world. And when conducting epidemiological and clinical studies, they also use uh, green tea, ginseng, and of course curcuma. We cannot do without it. We have studied uh, different medicinal plants and primarily we have ten, uh, taken biogens and then we have taken the root of Elytrococcus of Lipsia, uh, Lipasnik, uh, Birch leaf, uh, net leaf, uh, and Slotka root, and plantain leaf. We have studied these. Uh, uh, plants on carcinogenesis model. I won't describe these models because they have already been presented. Ten models were used, uh, quite extensive models, and a great number of models were taken for their study. We also determined the efficiency of using a certain formula. And if the coefficient was higher than 50, and the carcinogenic effect was pronounced, and the range of activity was also pronounced if the coefficient was uh, above 60. Medicinal uh, preparations, which we studied, uh, had a pronounced effect on uh, different uh, systems and delayed the formation of tumors. So primarily, the uh, nervous system, uh, uh, memory gland, Panaxel is by ginseng preparation uh, together with germanium 
nervous system, uh, large intestine, brain, brain, uh, bone marrow, memory gland, kidneys, so a broad range of anti-carcinogenic activity. We conducted another experiment related with radiation impact on animals, and we conducted the assessment of the inhibiting action of phytoadaptogen drugs versus synthetic drugs, and the comparison drug was eflornitin. We took a ginseng preparation, Eleutherococcus and Lefzea. What was the essence of the experiment? It was as follows. At uh, 615 female rats, we made radiation of four grays. We also took uh, the control, which was not radiated, and the irradiated control, which didn't receive any plant uh, preparations. Then after irradiation at four grays, uh, for 10 days, there was a break, and then we gave control drug and the uh, drugs which we studied. It should be noted that the radiation increased the multiplicity and frequency of tumors of different localizations, and we divided them under groups. We followed up for 16 months, then uh, where there was an autopsy and histological study of the animals. We have looked uh, at the tumors of all localization that it appeared that Eleutherococcus and ginseng drugs shown in red had their effects, uh, reliable effects. They operate not worse than the controlled drug, not uh, worse than the chemical drug. As to uh, br uh, memory gland tumor, the controlled drug and ginseng, uh, preparations were reliable for uh, endocrine and reproductive tumors. Ginseng was good. And other localizations which were studied, Eleutherococcus and control drug. Thus, in our experiment, Livze uh, practically didn't work and uh, Preparation of Leutrococcus and ginseng were operational as a chemical control drug. We also conducted randomized and non-randomized studies on humans, and we took several localizations. We took uh, chronic erosion as a forgotten endoscopic pattern is shown here. What did we study? We took 83 humans with chronic erosive esophagitis and 64 of the patients who peros 50 drops three times a day received panic cell. This is ginseng with germanium and 90 patients were the control group, which didn't receive anything. And then we confirmed it using esophagoscopy. What were the outcomes? Panic cell, practically in 90% of cases or even more percent of cases, uh, resulted in total or partial regression of erosion. As to the control drug, only three and four uh, cases of partial regression. Then we study uh, adenomatic uh, hyperplasia of endometrium. The total number of patients were 20, 11 patients received by Jensen, Peros, 30 drops three times a day, and nine patients were uh, the control group, and they uh, had a diagnostic curettage of the uh, uterus body. What were the results? A complete regression was recorded in 27% of cases without effect, eight patients. However, in the control, there was no regression at all. So here it might be concluded that Biogensen practically uh, operated for 30 percent and gave an effect in our time. Uh, 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 uterus cervic uh, dysplasia, uh, 48 patients of them, they were divided uh, 
in two series, as we called them, the first 27 patients who uh, daily, uh, with whom daily the cap was on Gwentum uh, was changed in the second series, 21 patients with five applications every other day, three courses of treatment, one month. And in the first series, we observed actually in 70% of cases total or partial regression, and the effect was recorded uh, during 8 to 24 days. And in the second series, we also observed the effect at about uh, 60%. Thus, some medicinal plants contain anticancerogenic substances, and galena preparations of such plants are good for prevention of cancer and premature aging. In our experiments and clinical studies, most prospective for prevention of cancer and premature aging are vital preparations of ginseng and uh, uh, some phytoadaptogen uh, drugs might be preventing development of tumors caused by ionizing radiation. Thank you for your attention. Thank you. Uh, can you give a general, general information about the measures of policy that could result in extensive recommendation of, uh, to use uh, this preparation uh, by the population in general. Some targeted policy, that is not a question to me, that is the question to politicians. But the politicians on their, and their decisions should proceed from the actions and opinions of the experts. Of course, there are a lot of publications, and we have the president has formulated the task that anti-concerogenic impact and uh, combating with tumors are, uh, have to be focused on. And of course, probably due to that, we'll be able to include fighter preparations into the policy. Uh, but uh, I'm far away from the politics, and I can just say that, of course, the use of fighter preparation to prevent uh, uh, by common people and common life should play a significant role. And as an example, well, I uh, uh, mentioned uh, curcumin food additive. It is beyond the politics, but uh, across the world, it makes it possible to uh, organize prophylaxis of oncological diseases. I don't say that all of you should use curcumin, but we, we start doing it. I think it will be good. You can I can use your personal example. I would like to comment. Nikola Lazarev, who is the founder of the idea of deptogens, many years ago proposed to use Eleutherococcus and ginseng uh, uh, fighter preparations for prevention of cancer, uh, prophylaxis of cancer. A lot was done in the Far East at the time in Siberia. But uh, it wasn't implemented because we have to have the state order. I will uh, quote um, uh, the statement by Nobel Prize winner physicist Mr. Kapitza, who in 1936 wrote, or in 1935 wrote, the tragedy of our government is that in most governments of the world, science is higher than they understand. They cannot uh, distinguish uh, the inventors uh, or uh, the magicians, uh, whether they are magicians or uh, scientists. That was in 1935, but it's still topical. And one more statement in 1964, uh, there is nothing uh, that more interferes uh, with the development uh, that uh, when the less uh, qualified people uh, manage uh, the uh, high qualified people, this is uh, holds true for science. And that was made, a statement was made by Peter uh, Karpitzer, who was uh, the disciple of Reserford. Thank you. And I would like to add that 
uh, in Germany. It is realized that uh, curcumin is uh, given uh, to oncological patients. In the dose 150, 350 milligrams, it is used as an infusion. It is realized as a, a, a prescribed preparation. It is registered and can be used. But that is a specificity of the region, and everything depends on the doctors. Can they uh, prescribe these drugs or not? I suggest that at the Russian market, together, I uh, uh, couldn't realize uh, its use here in the Russian market, together with the pharmacy. Any other comments may add? No. However, oh, a large uh, company produces curcumin in capsules but uh, the population uh, will not buy it because it is a bit expensive for many of them. Any further question? And besides, there are some standards which we shouldn't forget and which the f officially all the doctors have to comply with them. So the, your question is a political question. That is a fine political question. I would like to comment. There was one brilliant work done at the Institute of Demographic Studies by Marx Planck. They analyzed the mortality uh, in uh, two Germanys, so the Eastern Germany, uh, GDR, and the Western Germany, FRG. And uh, 10 years after uh, the uh, uh, demolition of Berlin Wall, uh, the uh, Mortality rate was similar. It was uh, previously high in Eastern Germany, then in the Western one. So, uh, in a t in ten days period, uh, that was uh, the same. That is a positive result of the policy of the state uh, to uh, maintain the health of their population. They just were miracle workers. They built different institutes, uh, re uh, research institutes in Eastern Germany, and the living standards were used. Though for us, uh, GDR uh, was a socialist country. So if uh, you take care of the people uh, within a short period of time, uh, within 10 years, you can reach uh, such good results. That's all that I wanted to tell you. There should be an order of the state. Will you please use the microphone? I have a question concerning oncological patient organization. I think this is the instrument that uh, can give that information to the end user. And I think that our population doesn't have the knowledge concerning uh, healthy food and the list of additives and medicinal plants, which you mentioned. Uh, this is just the literacy of our population. Uh, is there any possibility to make the population aware? Because as to the authorities of the country, I think that is not possible to do it, because uh, that is a, a long way. But the people might take uh, that decision themselves and change the situation. What instruments do you have of communicating with consumers, with users? We are uh, uh, discussing very serious problems concerning prophylaxis and politics. Probably now you are uh, speaking about the so-called uh, prophylactic or preventive uh, trend uh, work. And as uh, in any other field that requires an active advancement and promotion, this should be uh, giving uh, the information to the making the population aware. And for our part, um, Gogovic and myself organized different workshops, lectures to make the people aware about the possibility of preventing ecologic, uh, oncological diseases. This is not so simple. We cannot cover a lot of population if it is not done by uh, mass media, but that is also rather difficult. No microphone again. Probably we never uh, contacted them, and they never contacted us. Probably have uh, mentioned this, and we'll uh, try and do it uh, 
organizing lectures, but the patients, they are often non-healthy people, though they have relatives, and these relatives uh, think that uh, prevention is necessary in a certain way. And of course, uh, the fear of uh, recurrence is there. Uh, so undoubtedly, it has to be done. But I would like to stress once again that uh, this should be done on a more extensive scale. As for the government, uh, that is a very delicate question. But I think that if for our part we are uh, talking openly about it, uh, some information will be given to the authorities because oncological uh, disease rate increases progressively and prophylaxis in this uh, case is one of the levers that make reduce the disease rate. Of course, that won't be done in one day, one month or one year, but if the trend uh, uh, during the start, it, uh, we get the effect, as was mentioned by Vladimir Nikolaevich, at least in 10 years, if we reduce uh, the oncological disease rate, that will be a good effect.